What if I told you that there is a free AI tool that allows you to generate more than just images and videos for free? Yes, you heard that right. The tool is called Quen AI. And so I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. And in this tutorial, I'm not just going to show you how you can utilize the tool, but really just dive into teaching you how to enhance your skill set from someone who is generating basic images and videos to someone who will generate better videos than images that actually sell. Now, Quen AI allows you to do a lot more than image and video generation, like I said. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Once you sign up for an account and you pass the verification process, you're gonna land on this page that looks like this. And so below the text box, you're gonna see a few buttons that are really helpful. These are the tools that are provided and supported by the AI tool. And so what you can do is you can click on the image edit button right here, you'll see the options available these are for inspiration basically so this feels like a photoshop editor that allows you to edit images however you like using a simple prompt so you can discover how to use this tool by reading the inspirations here and then go from there next you can also do web development you can learn about different topics you can do deep research and then here are the image and video generation if you click on the more button you'll see that we have even more ai tools that are supported by the platform like artifacts travel planner code make a plan news analyze image summarize text get advice help me write and then brainstorm so it feels like it's an all-in-one solution that does all of this for free now let me show you how you can start using the image generation and video generation part of the site. So first thing is first, what we want to do is we simply click on the image generation button right here. And then the cool thing is that we also have the option to click on the drop down menu below the text box to choose the right aspect ratio, depending on what you're creating, whether you're doing this for social media or YouTube or what have you. So in this example, I'm going to choose 16 by nine as my aspect ratio. And then I'm gonna grab the prompt that I have generated using ChatGPT. So now that we're on ChatGPT, like I said, I've instructed it to provide me with all the prompts that I needed for, for this tutorial. And I'm gonna show you the difference between basic images and quality images that actually sell. So I'm gonna copy the first basic image prompt right here. And then I'm gonna go back to Quen AI. I'm simply just going to paste the prompt like that. Then I'm going to hit enter right here and wait for the result. And here we go. We got the image and you can see when I click on it right here, it expands and then it loads up. And this is how it looks like. The image is really beautiful. It looks good, but good isn't great. So this is just using the basic prompt. Now we're going to take this as the next level and I'm going to show you the enhanced prompt. So we're back to chat GPT and then I'm going to copy the enhanced prompt right here. And then I'm going to go back to Quinn AI. Now, in my experience, after generating a few images using the platform, Platform, I found out that the best way to generate images is always starting a new chat. And the reason for that is whenever I use the same chat, I always get the same exact image that was generated previously. So it seems that there is a bug, but the workaround is easy. You just start new chat. And all you have to do is simply click on the plus sign on the top left right here to start new chat and do the same thing. You click on the image generation button, you set the aspect ratio to 16 by nine or whatever, and then you're gonna paste your prompt just like that and then click enter and wait for the result. And so here's the result after using the enhanced prompt. And I'm gonna show you both images side by side so you can actually see the difference. A lot of creators already get good looking images out of Quinn. So when I say good looking, I actually mean that. They look polished, clean and impressive at first glance, but that's not where things usually fall apart. The real problem shows up the moment you try to animate those images. That's where most workflows break. The first image is fragile, not visually bad, but structurally weak for animation. And so what I wanted to show you in this tutorial is not bad versus good comparison. The difference is more subtle and more important. In the first image, you'll notice the lighting is soft and evenly spread. Everything feels polished, but everything also feels equally important. Your eyes doesn't know where to settle. Now, on the other hand, in the second image, the lighting has direction. You can tell where the sun is, and you can also feel how light falls off across buildings. It's important that you'll notice depth suddenly becomes obvious. Foreground, midground, background, they're no longer blending together. This is the key shift. One image is designed to be looked at, the other image is designed to move. And that difference only becomes obvious once you animate. So now I'm going to show you how to animate the enhanced image using Quen. We're back to Quen AI. And so when you click on the image and you scale and you expand it like that, you're gonna see a few buttons below the image. Create a video, edit, download, or even share. What you could do is simply just click on create video. And now it's gonna ask you for the animation prompt. So what I'm gonna do is simply as I'll go back to ChatGPT where I already already have my animation prompt. I'm simply just going to copy it and then paste it into Quen AI. And just like that, I'm back to Quen AI. I'm going to paste my prompt right here, and then I'm going to click on enter and wait for the result. 
usually takes about three to five minutes to generate so just give it time what you'll notice is the lighting doesn't collapse and the camera movement feels intentional that's the difference structure makes good images impress people structured images survive motion now let me show you another example where we apply the same thinking to a 3d pixar disney style character and for that like i said we're going to start with a new chat simply by clicking on the plus sign on the top left to start new chat and then go to the image generation button right here make sure that we select the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 and then simply grab the prompt so we're going to go back to chat gpt right here and we're going to start for the base image prompt for the 3d pixar disney character as well to show you the difference between base and enhanced prompts so i'm going to copy the first one right here and then i'm going to go back to quinn ai so back here i'm going to paste my prompt i'm just going to click on enter and wait for the result now this is what the image looks like again when you click on it expand it it's going to load up so you can actually see how this good image looks like nothing wrong with it but now i'm going to show you the enhanced prompt and for that, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on exit. We're going to go to start a new chat by clicking on the plus sign on the top left. Click on the image generation button. Be sure to click the drop down menu to choose the aspect ratio 16 by 9. We go back to chat GPT and then simply copy the enhanced prompt for the 3D Pixar Disney character. Go back to Quinn AI and then paste the prompt. And there we go. Now we start generating and wait for the result. So now that we got this image, we're going to click on it to expand it and show you the difference. And I'll also show you a side by side so you can tell the difference between this one and the other one. And so this is usually the moment people get surprised because it doesn't feel random. It feels planned. Now let's push this further and animate this image. And for that, I'm going to click on the create video and then I'm going to grab the prompt from ChatGPT. I'm going to copy the animation prompt right here. Go back to Quinn AI and simply just paste my prompt right here and simply click on enter and then wait for the result. Again, this should take two to three minutes. So just give it time and wait for it. Now that the video is ready, let's watch it and see it in action. And so what you'll notice is that at first glance, both images still feel strong, but look closer. The enhanced version has clearer light intent. The character separates better from the background and the material reacts more naturally to light. That's what gives you stability when things start moving. So now with my final example, I'm going to show you how to generate a video without a reference image. And for that, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on the plus sign on the top left, and we're going to click on the video generation button. We're going to set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. And then I'm going to go back to ChatGPT where I already have the prompt. I'm just going to copy it. And by the way, if you want access to all those prompts, I'm going to leave a link to them as well in the description so you can give it a try and check it out for yourself. After we copy the prompt, we go back to Quinn AI and simply just paste the prompt right here. And I'm simply going to click on enter and wait for the result. Now you can see how incredible the result is, and this is so fascinating. So like I said, you can use Quinn AI for free with all the tools that it supports in the platform. Speaking of the limits, using the free version of Quinn AI, you get up to 50 images per day, and then that limit resets in about 19 hours, and you can start generating again. When it comes to video clips, you get up to 10 video clips per day, and it also resets in about 16 hours, and then you can start generating again. That's honestly more than enough for most creators to experiment and build real content. Considering this is a free AI tool. And before we wrap up this video, I want you to know this. I was able to crack the code in Grok and Quen AI to generate videos without the irritating music. And what this means is that you can generate videos inside Grok AI and Quen AI without any background music, and you will still get sound effects. Of course, if you don't want that tool, you can simply just mute the videos in your editor. So if you want to learn about this in a tutorial, just comment remove background music below. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and like this video if it helped you and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next AI tip. Until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.